Just, I'm really, really happy with my makeup right now. I want to go take like six million pictures and then eat a bunch of food, so. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you've never been to my channel before, hello. My name is Brittany, my channel name is pronounced Bratterstein. Not Bratterstein, Bratterstein. Today's video is one I'm really stoked for, like truly, I know I, I'm, I say I'm stoked for every video, but I'm like really excited for this one because I got a new thing for Christmas and I'm excited to play with it with you. So first off, can we just, can we just, can we just look at this beautiful freaking burn book eyeshadow palette from Storybook Cosmetics. How dope is this packaging? Like, as soon as I got this, I put it on my bookshelf, which you can't see it, but it's right over there. And I was like, I have to display it. Like, I didn't even want to use it, but I'm going to because the colors are gorgeous. But when I saw it, I was just like, this is so, like, it's just so cool looking. And let me show you the color scheme. It's, it's gorgeous. So it comes with this little sleeve. And then it's like a book and it's got like the little, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like lines. So it looks like there's pages. Then you open it up. And it's a big mirror. And there are these shades. And the shades are named after different lines from the movie. Like, it's Butter a Carb and Cool Mom. Because she's not a regular mom. She's a cool mom. And Wednesday. And I like the attention to detail that they made Wednesday pink. I'm just like, yes. This is good. This is dope. So this palette was purchased for me by my sweet, sweet husband for Christmas. First off, can we just give him the best husband award right now? Because this is such a sweet gift and like you can't just go into Sephora or go into Ulta and buy this you have to like go online and buy it and he had to like pay attention and know that I would want it so best husband award he's so he's dope he's great he yeah like not only did he get me this but like he got me this cute little necklace with a paw print and then he knew that I needed um that I used the elf blush brush for literally every step in my makeup and then I was dry, like cleaning it off between powders like contour blush highlight <clears throat> and he bought me two more of those because he knows I use them so much so I'm just like yes best husband man he rules and plus he's like crazy stupid fine so I mean that's also a plus and of course in the spirit of Mean Girls oh it's just in case you haven't seen Mean Girls this this is a palette based on the burn book in Mean Girls where like the popular Mean Girls wrote all the mean things about all the girls in the school I'm sure you've all seen it but just in case you're like what am I looking at Mean Girls burn book. She made out with a hot dog. It was only one time. But anyways, in the spirit of Mean Girls, I'm wearing this shirt. L let me show you. Let me show you. Okay, I'm gonna have to like lift and go down. So okay, you can't creep. Ah, it's too. I'm too tall. All right. So it says you can't creep with us. How dope is this shirt? He also got me this. I bought it for myself and then he bought it for me for Christmas at the same time. This was a couple years ago. And it says, you can't creep with us. I will link where you can get this shirt down below if it's still available, but I love it. And I was like, well, we're doing a Mean Girls palette video. I have to wear my Mean Girls. You can't creep with us black crap shirt, right? So with this palette, I'm gonna go ahead and be recreating a look sort of, yeah like a recreation of a look at jay kissa did i will link her video down below so you can see it she is very talented and she's so good with color but when i saw her look i screen capped it and when i got this palette i was like oh some shades i could recreate that with are in this palette so let's go ahead and do that make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like tutorials and if you like mean girls and if you like me if you like jay kissa if you like um paw prints and coffee and If anything, just give it a thumbs up for how dope my husband is, because, like, he's pretty good. You can't see him because he's sleeping on the couch in the living room, because this poor baby is in so much pain. So after this, I'm going to go wake him up and cook for him, but I'm making him sleep in. So I turned off the alarm clock, and he might be pissy about that, but he really needs to sleep, and he's injured, and he needs to just do as I say. All right, anyways, what else? Anything I need to go through? Like, subscribe, comment, let's talk. And let's just get into this video. If you would like to see me create a look and do maybe some swatches, talk about the Storybook Cosmetics Burn Book eyeshadow palette, just keep on watching. All right, now that I showed you the shirt, the bra's coming off. Does anyone else just like never wear bras? I'm sorry. Hashtag free the nips. I know that doesn't apply just for taking them off. It applies for like a lot of other things, but honestly, bras are so stupid. And women shouldn't have to wear them or feel like they have to wear them. I don't wear a normal bra hardly ever. Fun fact about me, sports bras or nothing. 
So I'm trying to decide if I want to make this like a chit chat, get ready, a gab and glam, if you will. I might. I might. Only transition shade I'm seeing is like Glen Coco, which Glen Coco, so funny. Um, I'm gonna try that. I feel like it might be a little dark, but I'm, I'm gonna try it. So let's see how it goes. I guess I should bring in some, huh? I'll get the hang of this. I'll be a realty YouTuber yet. So that's a really pretty shade. I'm a fan of that. Okay, so I'm gonna take a fluffier, less dense brush here, and I'm going to take the shade You Can't Sit With Us. And I'm gonna blend out the edges of the shade. I've been kind of inspired lately by the way Nikki Tutorials does her eyeshadow. I don't know if you guys noticed, she doesn't really put down a transition state, a transition shade first. She kind of puts down the darker color and then goes in with the transition at the edges. So I'm kind of vibing off that right now a little bit. So I'm going to try that and see how that works. She says she just like lightly dusts the edges like so, like barely touching. So I'm going to try that and I feel like, like she's the queen. So let's do what she says. Okay. And that brought a little more pinkiness to the vibe, which is fine. That'll work with what I'm doing. It's kind of like a rough recreation anyway. I just have like a picture in my head of what she did and it was beautiful. She's like, ugh, she is so underrated. She's like the queen of color. She inspires me very much in the color realm, like her pairings. And she just seems to be very well versed and like educated in color, which I really, really like. I think I'm going to pull my hair up. Yeah, that's better. That is better. I hate having hair. Like I just want to shave it off. So I'm going to go in with this white shade, the plastics, and I'm going to go over the top because I went a little higher than I wanted to. That is very white. Wow. That is like the whitest of whites. Th that color made kind of a cool effect where it touched um, the You Can't Sit With Us. It kind of made like a light pink shade, which I'm kind of into. I like it. I think it's pretty. Okay, so now is where we're going to get into a little bit of color. I'm going to go in with the shade So Fetch, which is this beautiful orange shade here. All these shades are so pretty. Ugh. And I'm going to take that on a smaller, like, tapered blending brush. This one's the Morphe M139. Not sponsored by Morphe. But if you want brushes, use Kathleen Light's Code. Or, or I don't think JK's is sponsored. Use Kathleen Light's Code. She, she's good. And I'm gonna like kind of go like this and I'm gonna put that in the crease and make that more orange. Sorry, I keep getting the mirror in the shot. This palette, like I can't show you. I guess I could, wait, let me see. Yeah, you can kind of look at that's you, that's me. Inception. It, it has a really good mirror is, is my point. Like the mirror is really good and I am into that because you can see palettes of shitty mirrors sometimes. You know what I'm talking about, like the fun house mirrors. Like why? Why even include it if it's gonna be shitty? It doesn't make sense, but you know, I don't create makeup. I don't know what you guys are thinking about. All right, so now we got like a nice orange vibes. I know this looks really weird. I'm gonna do like a cut crease situation and I'm gonna clean that up with a wipe at the end. But here's what we have right now. Just a nice orangey kind of crease. And these shadows are blending out really well. There's a little bit of fallout, but like, I don't, I don't give a shit about fallout as long as the shadows work. I know some people don't care for it, but like, I don't know. I feel like it's kind of necessary. Maybe that's just because of this year, but like that's just the 2017 thing was fallout and it's made really good shadows and some not so, not so good shadows, but I like it. I don't give a shit. So let's move on. So I think I'm going to make it a little different than Jay Kisses because she didn't really have any pink vibes, but since I put the pink on the edges, I'm going to mix So Fetch and Wednesday together and I'm going to take like a really small pencil brush and like define where the cut's going to be in my crease. So, so for that, I'm going to use this itty bitty tiny little pencil brush from Real Techniques, the precision smudging brush.
okay so it came out a little pinker than i meant for it too so i'm just going to blend a little orange on top and see what i can do with it but if not like it'll look good with pink too i don't really care i'm just kind of having some fun i'm just going to try to relax and have some fun i feel like for whatever reason when i sit down to film i try to take things a little too seriously and my friend pointed out to me that I don't really seem like myself too much in my video so I'm trying to work on that like it's kind of weird to sit by yourself and like try to vibe off your own energy and like be super you know you when you're not talking to anyone except for like a camera but that's something I'm going to be working on especially in the next year so if my videos vibe seem different I'm just trying to be more authentic to myself so that's what that is and so I'm just going to chill and have fun with makeup because that's why I started this was just to chill and have fun with makeup because I love it and so I just want to experience it with people who also love it if you guys want to you know do the same then hi nice to see you let's talk makeup so this is where our conversation with each other is going to cease because I have to pay attention and instead of using concealer I'm going to be using eyeshadow primer to cut the lid I saw Kathleen Lights do this and I tried this method yesterday and it worked really nicely so that's what i'm going to do and i'm going to be doing that with this nasty old mac 246 mac 246 like a downtown la mac 246 you feel me and let's go ahead and cut out this crease Okay, so let me just blend that out with my finger and make it smoother because it gets a little messy. Now I'm going to take the shade Gruel right here because this is like just calling me, calling me, calling to me, calling me, whatever. I'm going to take the shade and I'm going to pack that on that space. So let's do that. Holy shit, that's so pretty. wow that shade is gorgeous like that's just i am so happy with that it's definitely more pink than orange and i don't i don't care i don't care we're doing a pink and green we're doing watermelon realness okay so i'm gonna do the other eye i'm gonna do that off camera because i want to like focus and put a mirror like right here and do it um i will probably throw on some liner and mascara and then i'll be right back so that we can finish up this look okay welcome back i have officially put on my base brow gel all that jazz so let's go ahead and work on the lower lash line mascara lips throw on some swatches and, and be done with this huh by the way say hello to dutters isn't he just a sweetest little boy you ever saw in your entire life this is like the hands down i have two cats but this is the best cat alive Shh. don't tell baz baz is cool too but if we're talking about, if we're weighing the pros and cons of the personality traits of the cats, this cat's gonna win, but I love them both. But you know how someone's just inherently better, just like as a human or a person. Like this, you love both people, like you love all your siblings, but one of them's a little asshole. You love both of these bands, but one of them might be like a guilty pleasure love. Like they're not really that talented, but they're fun to listen to. Like you watch two movies and one of them is like an Oscar winning movie and you love it. And another is like a, sh like a low budget comedy and you love them both, but one's like inherently better. Anyways, let's just uh, roll on with this. Okay, so for the lower lash line, let's go ahead with, we're just gonna put all the colors from the crease. So let's start with Glen Coco, blend that out the lowest. I'll know how this all works. Let me bring you in, like I keep forgetting. And of course, if you're doing this look, you never have to do as grungy and low of a lower lash line as I do. But I mean, like if it's too much for you, but like you already have hot pink, neon orange, and teal on your lid, so what 
is a big deal with a smoked out lower lash line. That's literally just like my favorite thing is like a super, super smoked out lower lash line. So I'm switching to my favorite under eye brush, which is a Sonia Kashuk brush that I doesn't have a name, but it's like my favorite brush I own. If I could only have one brush, I swear it would be this brush. Don't care. Never have eyebrows again, but this brush is amazing. And I'm going to put the shade So Fetch, the orange, right on top. Okay, I'm going to take this teeny tiny Real Techniques brush and take the hot pink and put it as close to the lower lash line as I possibly can. This is actually like a really interesting shaped brush. I have never seen the shape before and I don't think it's going to come up on camera. It's kind of slanted almost. I don't know. It's pretty cool. I'm into it. Interested? Interested in it. Okay, that is beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some mascara, pick out a lipstick, and I'll bring you back in for the swatches and we'll wrap this up. All right guys, so I was just filming for like 10 minutes without filming. I was just sitting here talking to myself. Just sitting here talk, talk, talking away and then I look up and I'm like, are you, are you fucking kidding me? Shit. So anyway, this is the completed makeup look. I am truly living for it. I know I say I love all my looks and you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. It's okay to like the work that you do, but this is definitely one of my favorite. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. I am so thankful to Jay Kissa for posting her video that I could do a recreation of because this is gorgeous and it was very inspiring. And this palette was beautiful. Everything blended out really, really nice. I'm so happy that my hot ass, dope ass husband bought me this for Christmas. And I'm just, I'm really, really happy with my makeup right now. I want to go take like 6 million pictures and then eat a bunch of food. So. Uh, for the lips, in case you're curious, this is just a Wet n Wild lip liner with the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm lip gloss. I felt like it would go good with the pink in the eyes, and I think I was right. So I think we should just jump ahead to the swatches and then finish out this video. I think, I think that's what we're going to do now, so let's go. All right, guys, so those were all of the swatches of the beautiful burn book by Storybook Cosmetics. What did you think? I thought they were beautiful. I thought that the formulas felt a little different from shade to shade, but not in a bad way. Everything I used turned out really good. The crumbliest one was actually Gruel, which I had no issue with on my eye. Um, the mattes were really blendable. If you touch them, there's a bit of fallout, but I, like I said, I, I don't I don't care. So yeah, I'm really happy with this, and I love this look, and I love this palette and I hate my arm skin and I love this palette I think everything came out beautiful and look at how cute this cat is can we just take a moment can you just give this a thumbs up for how cute my cat is I'm gonna hoe out my adorable cat right now so if you think Dutter's cat is cute give this video a thumbs up give a comment down below with the cat emoji let's do that but anyways I think that is everything I have to say thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching this and hanging out with my cat and letting me gibber on about how great my boyfriend boyfriend what how great my husband is i haven't called him a boyfriend in a long time that was weird that was weird that was weird anyways give me a comment down below let me know what you think of this palette what you think of this look uh let me know what your favorite movie is if it isn't mean girls because it, it might not be mean girls let me know your favorite line from mean girls if you've seen mean girls I am having issues remembering what I said when I wasn't actually filming and I'm trying not to repeat myself, but I feel like I want to cover everything and I don't know what I have said on actual video anymore. 
So anyways, I'm just going to cut it off here. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so you can help people know I exist, and I would very much appreciate it, and it's free, and you're great, and thank you. And again, thank you for hanging out with me on my channel, with me and Dutters, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Did you like what you just saw? If you did, you should go ahead and click on one of these videos over here to watch videos I've put up in the past. And if you click on my face right over there, it'll take you to where you can subscribe to my channel so we can hang out all the time. I think this is a good idea. Dutters is super enthusiastic, as you can tell. But yeah, you should go ahead and do that, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.